All right, starting today are the Chapter 5 Season 2 Ranked Cups, where you can win four free rewards. Now, before you skip ahead, let me just assure you that anyone can win these four rewards. These are the cups where anyone can win. It doesn't matter if you're the worst player ever. I guarantee you, you can win. So I'll be telling you exactly how you can do this and some very important news. So don't skip around. So first of all, let's talk about the dates and the times because there's actually multiple times you can compete in these cups. Today, April 5th, is the solo builds and solo zero builds. They're at the same time, so you can only do one or the other. Now you could do zero build solos today, and then when duos comes out, then you could do builds if you want. But regardless, today is solos. So you can see all the dates right here. Technically, Middle East started yesterday, but for everyone else, it's today, April 5th. You can see then the next one is April 26th, and then May 17th. So just in case you can't compete today, there's two other dates. Now, if you want to do duos, that is tomorrow. See the dates right here? Unless you're in Middle East, then duos are today. I'm trying not to confuse you. Middle East is always a day before, so it kind of gets a little tricky. But duos tomorrow, April 6th, and then there's one on April 27th, and then May 18th. And then for squads, that would be this Sunday, April 7th, and then April 28th, if you want to do that one. And then the last one for this season is May 19th. So ample opportunities to win these four free rewards. So how about the time? Well, luckily they made it super, super easy to check this out. If you go to the compete tab as I am right here, there's a change flag option in the bottom. Go to whatever region you are. For example, let's change it to Europe. From this video, it's 8 a.m. right now in the morning. It's four hours from now. So that would be, let's go down here, 12 or noon until 4 p.m. So change to whatever region you want and check out the times for NA East. It is in 11 hours from now and that would be 7 to 11 p.m. Okay, so now that you know the dates and the times, and it also shows the future dates there, again, remember the 26th of April and then the 17th of May for the solos. How about the details? This is why I say everyone can win the rewards. Again, they went with this terrible lime green. I don't know, that's just so hard to see. But if you get a victory, it's 65 points. Second place is 55, third place is 48, all the way down to 75th place for two points. Each a limb, two points as well. So there's some good news in the details. First of all, you may have noticed that it's not the normal three hours. It's four hours from seven to 11. That's four hours. So read the fine print here. It says play as many games as you wish during the four hour window. So that's amazing. Normally in these cups, the sweaty ones that is like the FNCS, you get 10 matches and that's it. And only three hours. This time we get four hours and you can play as many matches as you want. So how about the rewards and what do we have to do to win them? So these are all four of the rewards. And like I said, every one of you can and should win all of these. So first of all, we've got the Bolt of Lightning loading screen. Now these loading screens actually look really cool. These are the Constellation ones they teased before the season. So this one's actually unique in that you only have to play six matches. You don't even have to get any points for this one. Just play six matches in this cup. And remember, you get four hours, so that one's easy. The second one is called the Chain of Stars, and that's obviously Hades. You got to get 25 points to get that one. The third one is the Aphrodite one. It's called Constellation's Wings, and you need 50 points for that one. And then the ultimate reward is the Glider, and it's 75 points to win that. So ideally, you want to get 75 points in total and six matches played. So 75 points may sound intimidating, but it's really not. And once you hit 75 points, you can be done. You can stop playing. You're good to go. So remember, if you get 75th place, you get two points. I guarantee you anyone can get 75th place. Even if you just drop in and start gliding right away, by the time you land, you're probably going to be in 75th place or close to it. So even if you're the worst player of all time, and you only get 75th place every single match, that's two points per match, then it would take 38 matches to get this done. And if you're dying that quick at 75th place, 38 matches shouldn't be that long at all. But I promise you, if you camp somewhere, you are gonna get way better than 75th place. Let's just say you make it to 30th place every single game. That's 10 points a game. That means you only have to play about eight matches. Like I said, anyone and everyone can do this. It's that easy. Go to the middle of the zone, find a bush, find a sneaky hiding spot, and just camp. That's all you have to do. You don't have to get a single elimination. This cup is easily winnable by everyone. 
everyone should get these four free rewards. Now, if we actually go to the reward screen here, it's kind of misleading because these three are right. Like I said, the chain of stars is 25 points, the constellation's 50, and the glider is 75. But the one where you only have to play six matches, if we go over to this one, it says six points, and that's not true. It's six matches, and it even says that up here in the fine print. It says, play six matches to win the quote, bolt of lightning loading screen. So it's not six points, it's six matches. So now we know when the cup is, how many points we need to earn, and what we have to do. What about the glider itself? And this is the part that kind of stinks. So listen very carefully here because they changed how this works. But first of all, here's all the gliders. So these are pretty much just a remake of the Victory Umbrella from this season. You can see that there's purple in all of them, not just Unreal. The purple center of the umbrella is on all of them. So you can see how that makes some of these higher ones kind of dumb looking. In particular, my favorite one is normally Champion because it's orange. But that color of orange mixed with that purple, it doesn't look good at all in my opinion. I'll be completely honest here. I think bronze looks the best. I got to see gold in game, but bronze and that purple color really flow nicely. And then the Unreal just, I don't know, because the whole thing's already purple to begin with, and then the outside turns into a violet color. Ugh. So some of these just look not the best. I thought it would have been the other way around where the inside of the umbrella changes colors based on your rank and the outside would have been permanent. That I think would have been cooler. When I first saw this umbrella, I thought I was looking at the Unreal one because of all the purple in the middle, but no, it's the outside that changes based on your rank and of course the entire handle. But now that you've seen all the umbrellas, here's how they changed the rules. So whatever rank you are, when the cup starts, that's the only umbrella you can win, which is actually Mickey Mouse Bull Squash in my opinion. So let me just repeat that. Let's say today's cup you participate and you are bronze. That means when you get 75 points today, you're going to get the bronze umbrella and that's it. You're stuck with that for the rest of the season. Still, even if you rank up, that's the only one you're going to get. So let's compare that to last season. Let's say you competed in the bronze cup, you won the umbrella, and then as you ranked up, it would change to your highest rank. So you could have participated in the bronze cup, won the bronze umbrella, and then played some rank later on and you ranked up to platinum. Your umbrella would have changed to platinum. That's not how it works anymore. So let me just show you here. They posted this in the official blog post. It says right here, this glider will reflect the rank of the ranked cup you participated in at that time. So as you rank up, you will need to play another ranked cup to upgrade your glider to your current rank. Now, luckily, like I said at the start of this video, there are two other opportunities to participate in the cup. So let's say, for example, me, I'm at gold rank right now in builds. So I participate in the gold cup today. I win the umbrella, it's gold. Let's say I test it out in game and I don't really like it. In order for me to upgrade this, I've got to rank up and then participate in another cup. So let's say I rank up to diamond and I like that diamond one. So then the next time this cup rolls around, if I participate in the diamond cup, I can win the diamond glider. That's the only way to upgrade it. Like I said, last season, it would do it automatically. As soon as you ranked up, the glider that you earned would change colors. That's not the case this time. Whatever you earn today, you're stuck with unless you participate in another cup. And I think they did this because skilled players were kind of cheesing the system. They wouldn't play ranked and then they would participate in the bronze cup, win the umbrella, and then they would just play ranked and level the umbrella up. Because again, last season it would go up according to your highest rank. This season though, if they did that, they would win the bronze umbrella and then they'd be stuck with it. Even if they got to unreal rank, it would still be bronze unless they competed in the unreal cup. So that's why they did it, I think. And hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So there you go. Today starts the solo cups. Tomorrow's the duos. Sunday is the squads. Four free rewards, three loading screens, and a pretty sweet umbrella, depending on which rank you are. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. But like I said, everyone should be able to win these. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.